to relocating to Disney. Now, if you followed this blog, you know that we recently moved the in-laws to an apartment about two hours away, and today I'm driving their car down to them so they can have it. I'm going to take advantage of the time in the car to update you on how our house is going. When we were in Florida this last time, we found a house that we really liked, and we jumped on it, bid, and got the house. Now, there's three gates that you go through after you are accepted on buying a house, and one of those gates is the house inspection. If the house doesn't pass inspection, there's problems, and you have to figure out how those are gonna get dealt with. Now, our real estate agent recommended a house inspector and we used that individual and he uh, went in and he has a partner organization that also does a termite inspection so we paid for that as well after the inspector looked at the house now we're 1200 miles away so we can't be there with the inspector but our real estate agent was there and she flipped on FaceTime on her phone so that we could talk with the inspector and the inspector could show us right there live some of the things that he was seeing. A few days later we received the inspector's report and it had lots of pictures of, of things that he saw as he was looking at the property. So let me tell you a few things that were found. Between him and the termite inspector they found that the roof had leaked above the garage and that there was, uh, as described, wood-destroying fungus, fungi, up in the rafters. There was also another leak um, above the main house, above one of the closets. It looked like some water had uh, come in under the roof. Now that could have been, you know, a nail was popped up or, or something like that. But for the garage, it was missing some shingles and that's why the water was coming in. The inspector made some recommendations on how to remediate that. The sellers accepted that and went ahead and did the repairs. And now the inspector's gonna go back and make sure the repairs were actually done. A lot of the other things the inspector found were not to that degree. He found some of the tiles on the floor and in one of the bathrooms were cracked. And they weren't broken, but they were just cracked and they could be resealed. He found some of the grout was missing, so that's got to be uh, regrouted. Uh, he found one of the blocks on one of the outside columns was loose and he found the uh, the bird cage <laughs> the uh, uh, screen around the pool had a couple of holes in it now none of those are major issues none of those were issues that would make us walk away from the house they're very fixable the, I consider them to be minor and so the rest of the items, other than the roof, I decided to accept that they were fine. So that was our encounter with the inspector. I would say it was fairly positive. It went well. I'm happy with the detail that he found and he shared with us. And now when we go, we know exactly what we've got to fix and what we're in for. So that was the update for what the inspector did for us. Thank you very much for tuning in and thank you for watching.